Merry Christmas! <laughs> Hey everybody, how y'all doing? Thank you for coming back as always, I appreciate it. Really hope you're having a wonderful day or night and welcome back to my channel as always. I'm Deluxe, all right, let's do another transfer review, yeah. So if anybody watched my uh, gold version of Scaramanga from New Age, um, I said I was doing a collaboration with the guys over at Legends of Cybertron, really good fellas and everything. Um, kind of messed up, I did the wrong thing. So gonna do something different uh that i you know something i haven't reviewed is way back and everything so um i'm gonna review the clear version of iron factory's wind blade so yeah very cool got her i'm gonna do her review and everything and then hopefully i'll do it right this time and we'll see what happens everything like i said we're doing a collab with legends of cybertron definitely go check out their channel sub to them awesome stuff they put out some great stuff and everything so Let's just get to the review. That's what you came for. Yeah. Well, all right. There's Iron Factory. Her name in third party is Windsaber. And this is the Legend Scale. And this is the clear pink version. I think it was a show exclusive. I don't remember. It's been like almost probably four to five years ago uh, around that area. So I forgot which show this was. I just I got it at a TFCon uh, from Trolls and Prime. Lucky to get one. I think this is one of the harder ones to find. So, yeah. Let's take a look at what she comes with. Yeah, I don't have, I've had the box, but I don't know, I put it up somewhere. But a beautiful, if you can see it through my pale skin, nice uh, translucent pink sword. Looks really good. It is sharp. Be careful. But yeah, nicely done. Kind of just like clear plastic, basically. So that is what she comes with. Now you can store it. It looks stupid. Um, she's got two little ports on this side of her little uh, turbines, and you can plug it in right there. Yeah, I don't like that. So. Yeah, so you have that option if you want to store it on there, you can. So that's what she comes with, a little sword. All right, let's take a look at the alt mode. Nice little little uh, airplane kind of uh, mode and everything. Now we've got the little turbines. Like this is no paint at all, none at all, just a nice translucent pink. And I love it. It's beautiful. So lickable. And she basically has a shell former, and she just... Puts the arms down on the side, and that's all it is. Now, she does have a little landing gear. You got to be careful with these uh, uh, clear plastic ones. And the turbines do move like that. And that's about it for articulation. But there you go. Like I said, you can move this up right there and swoosh around. Whee! Pew, 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 pew. So pretty cool. I love it. It's beautiful. So that is the alt mode. For a wind saber or wind blade, whatever you want to call her, Iron Factory. All right, and then they are together. This is the original one. We'll take a look at the weapons first. Just the swords. Nice purple or pinkish uh, paint and red right there. And there they are together. Let's have lots of paint on this one. This is a clear version. Nicely done. There you go. Comparisons. And there's Crapagonics, a AAA battery, some crappy toilet paper. Scale. All right, folks, it's transformation time. Yay! Not much to uh, transform her, so what you're going to do is, but you got to be careful, this is clear plastic. You want to untab, see the tab into the wing up there, like that. You want to move that up, move that out of the way. Come around, do the same thing. Move that up. You want to tell your legs. You want to untab right there. And then you want to just flip them out. Combiner wars them out like that. I don't know if that's combiner wars, but you know what I mean. Flip them like that. Then you want to push this back. And you want to flip this down. Move this on her back, turn her head around. You can turn the turbines around as well. And they can 
both go up together like that at once and everything. So there you go. That is how you transform Iron Factory's wind blade. Clear version. If I can get her to stand up. You don't want to stand up for me, do you? There you go. All right, let me clean her up a little bit, and I'll be right back. All right, clean her up a little bit. There she is holding her sword. And she can hold it in both hands. Looks really good. Take that out. Very carefully. And let's take a look at the sculpt and the articulation. So, I guess you can get a little definition on her face. Not much, like I said, it all blends together because of the pink. But you can tell she has two eyes and a mouth and that stuff. So, nice head sculpt. Looks down quite a bit. Up, not much. Side to side. A little attitude. And like I said, the wings can go back and forth. Or up and down, not back and forth. Uh, but they can go back and forth. Golly. <laughs> back and forth, up and down. I uh, see so you can move the turbines as well. All right. Like I said, no paint on her, just, you know, all this stuff. So you can move these out of the way. Up to there. Does have a bicep swivel. Be careful. 90 degrees for the elbow bend. And nothing for the hands. No waist swivel. You can about there, not the full Van Dam. Uh, kick up a little bit. The little crotch plate gets in the way. Kick back as well. A little thigh swivel, but you got a new knee swivel because of the, the um, ball joint and everything like that. Uh, more than 90 degrees for the uh, knee bend because of the uh, transformation and nothing for the feet. And here's the back. You got the little nose cone that sticks out a little bit. And then you got some Waffle House going on right there. But that is it. That is the clear version from Eye Factory of Windblade. Uh, articulation and sculpt work. Yay. And there they are next to each other. Let's bring them up. So this is what she would look like in color. And the backs as well. I'm trying to get them together. So there you go. Comparisons with Windblade from Iron Factory. Awesome. It's awesome. If I can get that leg right. She's got a pain in the butt to stand up a little bit. There you go. Yay. And there she is next to Jetfire and Sunstreaker. Just a little, little comparisons. Scale. And Crapagonics, a AAA battery, some crappy tool paper, and squeaks for even more scale. All right, folks, let's talk about some wind blade from Iron Factory. Eh, let's just look at some pics. Why not? Take it away. All right, hope you enjoy those picks. Let's get on the floor, do some floor time. Won't you join me and be my neighbor? All right, all right, all right. So yeah, pretty cool figure. It's awesome to see how far they come, you know, with especially the articulation and paint and everything. Now I know she is a clear version and she's not gonna have any paint at all, but I really like this. Um, I wonder why they didn't do any more. I know they did do the Mirage, you know, and I understand Mirage and everything, but it would be pretty cool if they had some other figures that would do, you know, clear version and everything. So just where they did Windblade, I don't know. Anyways, all right, well, that was my review. Hope you liked it. Go down and hit me with some likes, shares, prayers, and care bears. Go down and hit that sub button for me if you don't mind. And uh, share my stuff out. I really appreciate that. So uh, I guess I'll see you on the next Transform review. And as always, be good to yourself. Hell Hasbro and good night, folks. Let me try to get her up there. Look at that. So shiny. Look at that light on her. She's a princess.